here tonight to investigate the Radstock Hotel. Not only tonight, but two nights. The first night we are joined by Gary Fields, psychic medium. The second night, the team investigate alone with their devices. Can we see if the Radstock Hotel has the spirits that has been said to be haunting here? Join us as we exclusively investigate the Radstock Hotel and see if we can get a ghost response. Can you confirm that you're here with us now by saying yes? Thank you. Yeah, thank you. I know you're there. Go down there a thank you. Thank you. We're not here to upset you. We're not here to harm you. <laughs> Are you sure in front of me then? That was a big thud. Do you hear that thump again? Yeah. Any device in this room to try and communicate with us. But. Ooh, excellent. Okay. It's very. So if she wants to hide behind the curtain and like... But do you think she wants to make herself known, but... I think she's ready to play. Maybe if you're shy and you'd like us to leave, maybe light up the light so we know you want us to go. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my God! Me. Both of them. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> tonight but that's what I'm used to all right it's like I've told too much of his story remember we was downstairs earlier on with the procession and I wasn't sure what, what it was yeah. the lady's funeral are you picking up anything I'm picking up on after hours after hours after hours okay mm -hmm. uh, a little bit of uh, n not under this management I must say <laughs> but what I'm getting drawn to is basically uh, a little bit of a card game. Right. A little bit of a, uh, we'll put the straighteners right. Right. And the next thing you know, it is five o'clock in the morning. Okay. Six o'clock in the morning. I can see the, the landlord over there. Uh, down here was the, the locals bar and they're only invited down here and only them were allowed down here. And it's a different price as well down here for them. Yes, it's locals prices. Yeah. It's definitely a card school going on as well. Uh, even I do believe there's a function of uh, pick the horses for the weekend on a Monday. Very good knowledge of horse racing, uh, very good knowledge of insider information towards more what was going on on Thursday, or Friday, or Saturday for the bigger races, for the, for the better races. This is how we're going to go. A little bit of a syndicate. We're going to do this, we're going to do that. And we're pooling the money, we're going to pot it. That's what we're going to agree on. Not vast amounts but all in together to make it worth the while on, on the, the each way bets as well. So I don't know whether there's any downs here for, for the racing, but there's a club here that would, there is a club here that would be, uh, that'd have a, a gambling club as well. <laughs> all right, come on. Someone following you around, Dave? It's a it's a so if I spiritually give you some spiritual medication now, will that cough go? I don't know. <coughs> spiritually take that and see if that cough goes, sir. Just take it down, just as if you're drinking it. Take it as if you're drinking really? it, sir. Yes, really. 
Two. Yes. And if it is a shot or if it's a brandy and it's too down, you'll know the difference. You might feel drunk in five minutes. You might not. It might be medication. My team haven't told me what that is, but they've asked me to give you a little bit of a, a tonic. Mm -hmm. What's in that? It won't be any poison. It should be good, so hopefully we can dry that cough up. But if you feel drunk in the next five or ten minutes, let me know. Okay. Okay. Well, it. Okay. There's a very toothless man here. Two teeth. Uh, basically, uh, definitely a yokel, I'd call him. He's not got many teeth. He's got about two just on this side. And they're not the best of, the best of colours as well. That's a bit of energy. Would you like to come forward and work with me? He would be a person that would prop the bar up. Okay, I'm at like four o'clock in the afternoon till all the way through to the end of the night as well. He doesn't move very far. Doesn't move very far at all. He's just rooted. Okay, can you make a noise down towards the bottom end there for us? Come forward. What I'd like to do is walk back down and walk back in. Yeah. Because I'm drawn to the energy again, just trying to pick up all the energy in the room. Get them to work with us, get them to bang with us. Do so you like to take a shot down there now we're not there? Grab your area. Well, I'm trying to pick up on energies of this gentleman. Can you move one of them balls? Now we're well away from the alley. Team told me to put the balls down, move the balls, put them down, save the moves. That's what my team's told me. So okay. why have I instantly gone for them? Oh, so you've literally just been drawn to these? Yeah. Okay. The gentleman's got a note in his pocket, he's getting the note out, he's passing it. This is that syndicate. And then that will go around to a lot of people within the vicinity. Got out of his pocket and he's like, Pass it on, pass it on, pass it on. So there's information as well. Have you heard any stories similar? Mm. That might. I know who it is. That's fine. Thank you. Brilliant. Excellent. That's fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Oh. I know. So you, 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 I, what I pick up on as well is mannerisms, emotions. That's why I was drawn to come back down here. Yeah. I've stepped in and around the energy of that person being here. He's given me the information yeah. and he's passing that on to me as well. So uh, I'm also drawn to the wartime as well here now. I'm going back to the 1940s. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah definitely. Is that all right? Yeah. yeah. You're getting in my paranormal zone now then. Right. That's just right. Uh, in a way of that person might not be on the other side. He hasn't told me yet, but I'm picking up on that energy as well. As well. Uh, I'm seeing like an overstock of uh, when someone's ticked off, I've ordered 10 cases of lemon and lime and then 100 cases of lemon and lime tip up. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Right. It makes a lot of sense. It's okay. <laughs> what they call that is schoolboy error. <laughs> it's only a digit, but it makes a vast amount of difference as well. You say that. <laughs> He used to say that yeah. to me as well, yeah. right, okay. And also as well, is this something... <sighs> mm. It is him. I know it's exactly what it's saying. Like. Yeah. Yeah. Stand up straight. Stand up straight. Stand up straight. Every time. Stand up straight. Stand up straight. Somebody's getting slid down there. That's fine. <laughs> this is the spirit energy that's going down there. And I think they would have been shuffled out the back door. 
Bye bye. You've had too much. Let's have you. Your time. By hook or by crook, but that person has just gone straight down. They haven't gone very far, but they have gone down on the toes. Okay. Can you affect the energies of the balls down there, please? Can you knock a skittle over for me? The person that was thrown out of this establishment. Headlock, getting the head rubbed as well. What's this person to be left with doing this at the minute? Hands clapped as well, so I'm getting a round of applause, and this is generally from the spirits as well. But this main area here is just busy, 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 busy. It's not about the bar, it's about the congregation. Right, okay. Come forward, give us a noise in the room, please. Do have a Scottish man do you know of here? Yeah. Chair kicker. The yeah. stools move down here. Okay. Have you heard the clanking of the school stools when there's nobody in here? I've wondered if I yes. have. Well, you have. Myself. No, you have. You've heard. It's me, young man. It's me, young man. That's what he's saying. It's me, young man. How much more evidence do you want me to give you? Do you feel quite a little bit unstable? A little bit. Yeah, because it wasn't medicine. I felt briefly giddy. Yes, because it was... The thing that's concerning me more probably at this moment is what I think could be actually touching my arm. That's fine. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Feels like somebody's touching my arm. Take him away. Take him away. Take him out. Take him out if you can, spirits. He's the one that needs to go. Not you directly, Dave. This is the person that would have got down the aisle. Yes, really, take him away, spirits. Take, take your boom down about three inches and see if spirits will walk you back. Don't move, Dave, resist it. See if they'll move you back. Take him out, he's the one that needs to go out now. Come on. Sway him backwards or pull him out by the arm, please, spirits. He needs to go by the bottom door. Not that he's done anything indirectly. Pull him, pull him towards the door. I'll walk down, I'd like you to follow me, spirits. You need to go out this back door. Get him by the arm, bring him out, he needs to go. Bring him out, spirits, for me, please. Bring him out, bring him out. Resist it, sir. Resist it, sir. You know you get a tingly, you know when you get the chills? I'm having it in a very specific area, on my arm, at my elbow. That's the only point. It's just a very specific area. I don't know if it could be because I'm holding them. Boom. Please recall when I said upstairs that the one that would be most responsive and the one that would be most receptive tonight. So we are now in the Skittle Alley. I'm with Gary here and Ben, landlord. We also have Natalie. Um, and we also have Selena as normal documenting any activity that we get. So I'm going to start off with a little bit of calling out and I'm going to hand over to you unless you've already Excellent. picked up on something. I'm drawn to the middle of the, the alleyway there, okay. down the, the bowling alley, uh, the skate alley, but if you want to just see if you can get a response from there. Okay. And I think there's a little bit of a detection going on there at the yeah. moment. Okay, so... If there is any spirits here, obviously, as you, there are many devices placed down this skittle alley. If you're affecting that device down there, could you make, <laughs> could you just make it stop just for one second? <laughs> On command. Okay, thank you very much. Excellent. Um, so if you can confirm to us just a couple of things, could you tell us whether you're a male? If you're a male, just make that beep a little bit faster. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, go on. Is it the male that got dragged out of here? 
That's the question, because it's responding with you. Okay. So, are you the male that apparently got dragged out of here? If it is, please once again use that device when making it beep. Are you somebody else, maybe? Are, the energy, are you the energy that tripped me up before? Are you the spirit that pushed Gary here before or earlier? If so, once again, just use that device or any device which is dotted around here or placed in the skit alley. Are you making it beep for us, please? Don't be shy. <laughs> Okay, if that's you that stood in front of me or around me, just please, just make it stop just for a second. Are you going to knock on the stools behind us? Can you move a stool or move some of the equipment on the bar? Can you get both devices going? It, it's a collective of the energy just whoa, right, right okay we're opening up let's let's see what we can do let's give them some confirmation and that's what they're doing yeah you don't need to go and stand down there you don't have to be shy or uncomfortable whoa, whoa. big massive draft behind us coming in that's twice you've done that don't know whether it's an aircon system down the back here it would be the fan above the door that's it yeah i could just see it right there. okay so yeah, there is a fan, fan there that's yeah. fine Glad to debunk. So you don't have to be shy by standing down there. You can come to us and try and communicate with us. I've got a device in my hand which could potentially let us hear your own voice. Now, if you want to be able to, for us to hear your voice, just make this device in front of me like that. Or, if you can make that device or one of those devices down there like that, I will come to you. Just tell us where you are, and I'll come to you. If I walk towards you, would you not be happy? Give us a response. Please. Do you want us to remain at this end? Can you give us a response? Does the name Morris mean anything? Does the name Morris mean anything? Can you move something in the room, please? You just responded by talking back to me spiritually and said, be gone. That's the words I've just received. Whereabouts in the room? I'm drawn at the minute behind the device in the middle. I'm drawn just in between them and the skittles down the back. If I walk down there, yeah. And trying to burst EVP and see if I can pick up his voice. I feel that that would drum towards, as you're walking back towards me, I feel that you'll have the mannerism, the energy of that person as you're bringing it back in. That's how I feel. So I feel that you'll collectively walk through that energy. Yep. Walk towards me and I feel that you'd be quiet. So if I go down, yep. walk around that, Round that, round the middle of that, out. come back and see what you feel, see what you sense. And see if I can use this, maybe just... Of course you can, can, yeah. And see if the equipment will go off as you're walking around. If Gary's correct, I'd like you to respond now, please. As Dave walks back towards me, I want you to pick up the energies of the gentleman. Give me the time era. Give me the decade. Try this. Did your call call that is rolling? Can you so in my hand? Now with the voice, you can come up to this and speak into this for us, 
so we can actually hear your voice. But can you confirm that you're here with us now by saying yes? Thank you. Yeah, thank you. I know you're there. Go down there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Push that article. Push that item. You are here. You can see him. He's he's naffed off that I'm here. He's gone down there. He wants to come back here. You want to come back in this room, don't you? You're staying away from me, aren't you? This is your stance at the moment, sir. Do you want to share your stance with us? Yeah, yeah. Is that you confirming that you don't want to share? Do you want to affect Gary? Come and affect Gary. Come on. Come and rattle something down this end. Look at this. It's spicy. It's spicy. 16, no, 16, 16, no, spike, just missed it, I know. Oh. If Gary walks down towards there, what can you do now? communicating with us, you've done fantastic up to now. Are we okay for locking? Would the local bobbies come around? Hmm. Does Gary remind you of the local bobby because I'm rocking them forwards and backwards on my toes? What do you think? Just it's like a unhappiest spirit. Maybe. <coughs> Did you give Gary the year of 1977? Does Gary need to talk to the gatekeeper here that looks after the land? Don't be shy. Do you see the person cartwheeling outside? Yes or no? Can you relate to a May Fair outside around the 1st of May, May Day? You show me happy times outside. You're not happy with people being happy. This is making you more sad. Can you confirm that for me, please? Whereabouts are you in a skit alley? At least give us a sign to whereabouts you are. Not here to upset you. We're not here to harm you. <laughs> Are you sure in front of me then? Mm -hmm. Are you playing games with us now? If this is where you are. Again, I put the recorder on. Can you confirm that you're stood in front of me? Say yes into that red light. Have you got a challenge for Dave? Oh, I'm just checking it, it's not me. It's potentially sent off. Do you wish to set a challenge down with this gentleman? Would you like to accept the challenge? Would this be a wager on this, sir? Has no one took your wager? That's the 
question. Let's see if it's about money. I feel the gentleman can't stop until he wins. Yeah. So is this about money? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> And I know what you've just said to me as well with the words back that you've thrown to me, and I'll, I'll keep it clean. I reckon I could beat you. I don't know what the challenge is, but I reckon I can beat you, and I'll take your last bit of money off you, and you'll be going home with nothing. Would Again. You... Again. Again. Still willing to accept that challenge? Alright then, what's the challenge? <laughs> Take your first spiritual <clears throat> shot, as if you're bowling spiritually. Do, do you know what? I was actually, one of the questions I was actually going to ask is like, would somebody like a game of skills? Spiritually take your first shot, sir. Can't play skills, by the way. <laughs> Just roll as if you're bowling. Just roll it down there as if you're bowling. One thing. If it is for money, I'm going to put some money down by this device. Alright? Let's see how much it is. I'm going to put some money down. It's like the warm up round, this one. This is the £35 you've lost already. Asking the question if that's the amount, approximately. Okay, then have you lost £35 already? Double it. Bearing in mind we're in the 70s, 1977. You're about to lose another £35. Take your bowl. See where we go. He might not talk of his losses. Just have a little bowl. anything spiritually I'm getting an energy to the left hand side right down the bottom as you took a ball I got a white shadow forming in just to the side of the door right down the bottom right yeah. about a foot two foot in yeah okay let's see it there now I can, see, you I can, see, can, it? I can see, see it I can see something it, I, I it don't is know moving it's, it's about two Three, four foot up. I'm going to walk down to where this energy was changing. I'd like one of you to watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The energy moving is roughly around here. Okay. It's about that height. I've got a pain in my wrist as well as I'm just doing that. Are you rolling it back up? Are you not very happy? Did Dave do well with his first shot? Take your shot and see what happens. Give us a white light down the bottom if you can, please. Give us some type of anomaly down there. Give us a light fixture. Give us a cluster. Never beat you, will he? That's what you're telling me. That's what you're talking to me and saying to me. Is that you confirming that you've taken your shot and it's now my next shot? You'll never, shot. Beat him. You'll never beat him. You'll never beat him. So I'm going to take my next shot now. And just to say that this gentleman, name of Morris, is well intoxicated and he's struggling to stand up. Are you blatantly going to lose it? <laughs> take my next shot then. Yeah. Take your next shot. 
disinfect the equipment down the middle if you can please if I count down from five you get to zero I'd like you to pay my good friend Dave who's beat you fairly and squarely can you do something after that when I get to zero that's your time that you must settle your bet five four three two one Morris I'd like you to settle your bet with my friend <laughs> This is weird because the next question I was going to ask is can you place the money by the device <laughs> and make it go off? Did you say some unsavoury words to Gary then, sir? To, towards Dave? Mm. Okay. I may have beat you. Okay, and if say, you may have put the money that you owe me on that stool, say, I'm feeling quite, in a, I'm feeling in a really, really nice mood at the moment. I'm gonna let you take your money back. So if you take your, just come up to that device and take your money back. If it goes off, it will be in the next Couple of seconds. Sorry, right, I'm not going to take you. And I'm going to try and get, take the money back off you. It's yours. I'm feeling in a nice mood, so you can take your money and you can go. You happy with that compromise, sir? <laughs> Did you just call him a mug? balls come back in, excuse me for saying, <laughs> but those balls come in and we had a spike then of 0.3. It's almost like... And someone's got this uh, really cheeky smile, this lady, and she's affecting my features at the moment. And she's <laughs> okay. like quite shy as well, and she's looking down and she's got her hair swooped to the side. Right. And this is what she's doing, and she's being very... Okay. It's very... as if she wants to hide behind the curtain and like... But do you think she wants to make herself known, but... I think she's ready to play. Play. We like play. Mm, I think she's ready to communicate. That'd be great. OK. Um, so we're getting a baseline reading. Temperature-wise, it's actually much warmer. Naturally, heat-wise, yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Being on the higher level here, we're at 25.9. Don't know. You tell me. Yeah. OK, so we're getting a 26, as it, you know, so... And just getting a very small spike there of 0.2. I don't know if that's gone again. Yeah, okay. So obviously, um, there's nothing here. That, I mean, okay, usual. Anything else though, Gary, that you're, you know, you're mentioning a female? We're going to ask the building to come alive and give us its information. Come alive and work with us. Uh, unfold your past. Un unfold and work with us. Give us the information that we need. Uh, Come and give us what we're not expecting. Come and do something out of the blue, out of the ordinary, just to give us some confirmation. Something totally different. Let's try and work so on So maybe you could kindly just sort of, this is naturally, I'm going to have a little wander away from you, Gary, while That's you're fine. just here, getting the feeling for the room. I'm just doing a baseline, as you're aware. Okay. Maybe you can be encouraging spirit to Any hopefully... Any male energies in the room? Would you like to come forward and work with us? I've had at least three or four females. Could have some interaction off some males. I do feel, again, with the writing, I'm, I'm, I'm getting drawn to the automatic writing mm. as well. But it's not for me. <laughs> if, if there's an entity that would like to communicate and use the pencil, 
please feel free if you can do that that'd be fantastic Lucy would you like to come forward again it's a small note I'm being drawn to a small note that ball has just moved it hasn't gone off but it has moved the 6th of October is a date okay and I'm drawn to 1971 at the moment quite heavy breathing as well the person passed he's got a mask on as well the male's got a mask on which is oxygen again so try to be resuscitated first aid ambulance can you give us a sign a knock please a bang a bump lot of sensitivity in and around at the moment trying to come forward trying to blend with me at the moment I can feel okay. the energy behind us as well um, I know I was drawn when I was outside uh, earlier on drawn to room five All right, okay. uh, even though room one and room seven but I think room five as well is that yeah I think yeah and I think this is where this male resides oh, remember right. what I said to you I feel he you stands at the window looking, looking down yeah you did, yeah. Um, just on the walk around, Gary, I appreciate, obviously, you've got your own ability, so you probably mm -hmm. don't need... Um, no but just on the walk around, we've had, only had a couple of spikes, one of which hit about 0.5, which may well have been the tally there that's in the background. And there yeah. was one, as I was coming back behind Fraser, which, again, the telly is behind Fraser, okay. could well have been. But I tried to go near it, uh, so nothing that I just had a point to then. So but nothing, what this what, is just the EMF reading. What we can look at as well, if they can give us a, a flicker of the lights, that'd be good. If they can do anything of that, leave the lights on. But we'll see if spirits can you affect any of the lighting. If we go a bit darker later on, I'd, I'd like to take the light up or take the light down. I want you to work with us. You really need to come forward. That was a big fun. Do you hear that thump again? Yeah. We're on the top level. We're on the yeah. top now, so there's no way it... No. Sound is above, but... That's how I... <laughs> it's it's trying to sound like it's just yeah. going to be there. Yeah. Okay. Can the gentleman, if that's you outside, can you give us that noise again, please? Is that a car? Can you make a noise directly behind? This door here. Make a noise behind the door for us, please. Can you turn that, take the handle down? Can you rattle something, please? Come on, it's your time. Come and work with us. In a very clamped head at the moment as well mm. so i feel the pressures uh atmosphere is changing in the room i feel it's getting a little bit heavy as well okay so you recommend we move on and just do the rest of the baseline elsewhere then and just see yeah. what we can get I do. generated I feel that this room even though we've, we've come into this room i do feel it's a lot heavier than what it was when we started as well okay so i feel the energy's Come right down. I don't want to say anything to you yourself about what I know yep. about this room, no, so fine. we'll we'll move on. That's fine. And I will document with uh, the landlord later. It's okay. And but I know yes. my eyes are going, so I know. Okay, too. we'll move on. We'll move on. So we're stood now in room seven of the Radstock Hotel and this is our second night. Of course, Gary has already had a walk around in here and he did feel a presence of what seemed to be a female spirit that seemed somewhat shy. Quite shy as well and she's looking down and she's got her hair swooped to the side. Right. And this is what she's doing and she's being very... Okay. She's very 
as if she wants to hide behind the curtain and like now there is a story which um my friend here um brooks will explain further of a spirit said to be by the name of geraldine um can you explain further what the, the yeah, history she, of uh, she was a maid uh for the hotel and uh, she had an affair with the landlord and so called the landlord was married and she got pregnant so the landlord had a ride with Geraldine and faked her hanging and killed her. Okay. And no one ever found out the truth or anything else. So again it's just a legendary story. It's just a legendary but, story, yeah. But obviously it came from somewhere. Yeah, yeah. And there has been some sightings reported or some some feelings that Quite a few like, different the landlords and landladies have uh, been here in the past have said they've seen stuff and yeah. like, um I've actually seen the optics come off of the walls before in the actual in bar. The bar. Yeah. Yeah. Where no one's been there at all. So. Okay. So here we are. So we're in room seven, as mentioned. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna pop the lights out and we are gonna investigate as we normally do. So lights out when you're ready. Okay, so the lights are out and we're all ready to investigate. In the room present we have Dave, Selena, Fraser of course is our cameraman, myself, and we have Brooks who we spoke to just previously and of course Ben and Nat, the landlord and landlady of the Radstock Hotel. So that is all present in this room. Hopefully if anything does occur, then we have of course um, Ben, Nat and Brooks here that would be hopefully be able to validate any information for us. Um, of course, as always, the way we investigate, we use various methods um, of devices. We have EMF, uh, EMF devices, we've got an EVP recorder currently running. Uh, we have a new device over here, which I will demonstrate. I'm going to knock now. Vibration, okay? Those lights will light up if something was to knock them. Bang, vibration. Of course, we've got different types of static, which is not reading me at the minute, which is great. That just shows that I'm not obviously going to set that device off. Um, so yeah, as always, various devices throughout the room. And we're going to start by calling out and seeing if we can hopefully maybe get in touch with perhaps Geraldine that's been mentioned. So, um, okay. So my name's Kelly. Um, we are all here tonight with the greatest amount of respect and we're calling out to any spirits that may be here in the Radstock Hotel. We understand it's a very, very old building and you may not have had the opportunity to, to speak to anyone in this way before. So we call you to come forward and we've got various devices dotted around the room for you to make your presence known. You can also make your presence known by way of knocks, taps or bangs, or of course by touching people in the room, whichever way you find easiest to do so. We simply would like you to make your presence known to us. And then in doing so, we will be able to communicate further. So if there's anyone here, Please, can you do something with either devices or knocks to let yourself known to us, please? The lady that's been mentioned, her name is Geraldine. This may be wrong. Maybe through time the name has changed. So if that's the case, could you please try really hard and let us know what your name is? So as Kelly said, we're just here to try and communicate with you in some sort of way and there are many ways that you can communicate with us, um, as Kay said, like a knock, or we've got these devices. So we're told that you're possibly a shy lady. So we're we're going to try and encourage you to try and communicate with us in in some sort of way. 
Now if you want to communicate with us, can you just give us two knocks to start off with and then we can work from there. On anything you want, on a cupboard, door, just give us two knocks. Or maybe use one of the devices, light them up. I just, um, if I can just say as well that although again there's not much documented history on this place, um, which in a way to us makes it more fascinating um, and more interesting to investigate because, you know, anything we find we're documenting ourselves. But there is mention of a what is that light going on and off? Excuse I didn't know. me. It's just the camera. The camera's going on and off over in that corner. Really? Yeah. yeah. It literally just was going on and off. You noticed it. Anyway. Yeah, and I just. Behind you. I don't know what's going on with the camera there. It literally just lit up, went down, lit up again. Turn off. Of course, we always put new batteries in the cameras before we start investigating each area. So. Some say a battery drain might be an indication of spirit using the the uh, the energy from the devices. Yep. So is it is it turned off? Yeah, it's completely drained. So here we go. One of the cameras has gone down. The other one at the moment is out of action due to our cameraman <laughs> needing to see to it. Um, and we got a few things going on. Are you here, are you next to this device here? Line it up. Are you close to me, maybe? I think if they're shy. Mm. Maybe you can give us a... Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> and gone. That's Whoa. just me trying to debunk this. Okay. So if that is you, maybe, that stood near to there, can you make that uh, brighter for us, please? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, give it everything. Try and make that as that light as bright as you possibly can. Come on. Be really grateful. Just to let us know that you're here. Maybe we could use that device if that's what you like. We can use that to communicate. If you make it really bright, that could mean a yes. Light that up for us right now, that would be amazing. Try it. Mm. Really bright for us. Come, Come on. on. Give it a bit more. This is the female. Come on, sweetheart, just try it as hard as you can. Please, just try your hardest. Use my energy, maybe Kelly's energy. As a collective energy just to try and use that device to communicate well any device in this room to try and communicate with us but oh excellent well done thing. sweetheart thank you <laughs> actually kind of a little bit blown away by that yeah <laughs> to be fair can you make it stop then make it stop thank you <laughs> excellent are you going like that in this moment? <laughs> really? So are you well a done. female? Can you confirm that by lighting it all up for us again, please? Are you a female? Thank you. What? Yes. Right, make it stop now, my love. Thank you. Can you stop it for me, please? We'll ask you the next question if you make it stop. Thank you. Is your name Geraldine, like people think it is? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much, my love. Well done. You're doing so well. Can you turn that off again, please? Make it stop. So, thank you. So is it true that you may have had um, a love relationship with a landlord here? Is that story true? No. If you worked here, could you light that device for me, please? No. Okay, so maybe 
Maybe you just stayed here. Could you light the device for me, please, if you just stayed here? Can you put my phone on? No. Did your lover used to stay here? I actually don't know how to react to that. Come on, take, go, 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 um, go, pull it out. Okay. Pull Thank you, make it stop. Just stop us, stop that for a second, for us please. We need it to stop to ask you another question, my love. Light it up for yes, thank you. Good. So I'm, I'm guessing then that because I asked you that question, me asking you that question is kicks out some emotions for you. Were you in love with him? Ooh. That was short. That was, wasn't that? That was sort of a... Was it a kind of, like, were you... Were you not supposed to be in love with yeah. him? Was it a secret affair, my love? Was he not someone you should have been in love with? We're not here to judge. No. Mm. Thank you. You're doing really well. Thank you. Well done. Make that stop now, please. So the story is, is that apparently her lover killed her and made it look like a hanger. Is that right? Uh, that was what Geraldine's mm. story is. That, that uh, I mean, again, this is what we said. We need to find out the true story. There's nothing okay. picking up on thermal well, imaging. Well, were you pregnant? With the kid? This hasn't been going off. Like, for this to start going like this now. Did you love him, but he didn't love you? No. Did he hurt you? Not as in physically, but I mean emotionally. Did you die in this hotel? <laughs> this is unbelievable. Thank you. Did you die in this? Can you make that stop for a second? Please? Did you die in the stairwell outside this door? In that hallway? Something I said about oh, being pushed down the stairs or something, wasn't it? Mm. With child. Mm -hmm. Were you with. Can you make that stop? Were you with child when you were pushed down the stairs, my love? Were you pregnant with child when you fell down the stairs to your death? Just want to clarify everything a minute. Everyone got phones off. Yes. Yeah. yeah all yeah. my my phones went downstairs. Definitely. Or airplane mode. When I turn it off. Yeah. Yeah. What was, what that was that? That's mine. That's my phone. That was my wife. <clears throat> right. Did you end your life yourself, yeah. my love? Did you take your own life? Can you light the device if I'm telling? If that's the case. If you're still here, can you light the device up, please, for me, my love? And we'll try asking more questions. Thank you. Okay. Uh huh. Well done. Thank you. Make it stop, please. Make it stop. We'll ask another another question. Thank you. Let's start by your age. If I was to count, can you can we try to work out your age? Okay, so if you're in your teens, can you light the device, please? If you're in your 30s, can you light the device, please? If you're in your 40s, can you light the device, please? 
Are you in your 70s? Can you light the device, please? Seems to have gone quite quiet now. Mm. But since we asked the age, mm. it's, it's almost probably like, like a really stupid thing, but it used to be classed offensive it was, to yeah, ask a no, woman I, their age. Maybe, yeah, no, I agree, yeah. It was though, wasn't it? It was like yeah. when I tried to get the age, mm, there was just was no it. response from that, you know, previous to that. We were getting some... I'm going to ask a question. Well, she's got scared talking to us. So I'm going to ask a question. Yeah, yeah, it might have been too much. Are you still with us here right now? Please, just let that go to pink. Or try and communicate the way you did if you're still with us right now. Can you do that for us, please? I reckon we might be frightened her off now. Mm. Going by what Gary said about a shy female as yeah. well. And someone's got this uh, really cheeky smile, this lady, and she's affected my features at the moment. She's <laughs> okay. quite, quite shy as well, and she's looking down, and she's got her hair swooped to the side. Right. And this is what she's doing, and she's being very... Okay. It's very as if she wants to hide behind the curtain and like. But do you think she wants to make herself known? But I think she's ready to play. Possibly. Maybe if you're shy and you'd like us to leave, maybe light up the light so we know you want us to go. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my God! God. Too. Both of them. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. So basically, Would you, you, have we upset you in some way? Make it stop, please, my love. If you want us to leave, we'll go, yeah? We will go, we will respect that, but can you make it stop now, please? Thank you. Do you want us to leave? Can you confirm that, please, my love? Light them up once more to confirm you want us to leave. Ooh, we got sleep in here tonight. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Really? Yeah. This is that room, isn't it? This is our room. I just want to try and debunk something a minute. Alright. Is there a fan in the bathroom that is like on no. intermittent or anything? Not no. until the lights come on. Yeah, it's literally no, until the lights come on then Okay. It's not on. Okay. okay. One more question, my love, and we'll leave you in peace. Fucking Has that been you communicating with us? Can you light that device to confirm if that is you that's been communicating with us all this time? Thank you. Ooh. We're sleeping in here tonight, my love. Can you turn that off a minute? Because I need to ask some further... Thank you. Are you happy with Fraser and I sleeping in this room tonight? Can you light it up if that's okay, please? <laughs> <laughs> so, as you probably heard, Kelly and Fraser are staying in this room. Because I believe you're shy and you're not negative or horrible or anything like that. If they sleep in here, will you promise not to scare them, not to wake them up or anything like that? If so, make one of the devices light up like you have been. <laughs> Good luck with that, guys. <laughs>